What up, YouTube? Denny in Saigon. Hello. My name's Denny. I'm an American, but I live here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, it's another beautiful day. It's about lunchtime. It's a little cloudy out, so it's uh, the low 80s. Yeah, Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is Celsius. I can't do it in my head. It's, uh, <laughs> it's something. <laughs> Look it up. Uh, it's not too hot, but it's uh, it's about comfortable. I kind of like it when the clouds come out a little bit. Uh, it's often very sunny here. It does get very hot. Uh, let's see. I was going to talk about uh, where to live in, uh, in Ho Chi Minh City. Because I keep getting questions about that. And uh, to try to answer your question, I don't know how to say your name. It's... Uh, Kasumi, maybe. Uh, you're planning on coming to live here, and you kind of want to live, uh, you know, close to everything good. <laughs> well, I have some opinions about that. Uh, really, the best place for anyone to live, if you don't want to own a motorbike and you don't want to own a car, is over near District One. Um, District One is, uh, of course, it's that's where Walking Street is. But uh, Walking Street's just a, a few blocks. Uh, uh, District 1 is bigger than that, and there's a lot of places to live in District 1. And then there's District 3, which borders District 1. Uh, that's the business district. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, suits and ties, and women are dressed real sharp there. Uh, then there's District 2, which is uh, borders uh, District, is across the river, borders District 1, uh, which is not far, you know, by taxi. Or, you know, if you want to take a motorbike taxi, you can. Uh, a lot of people like District 2. Uh, but if you want to live close to, uh, you know, you said you wanted to live close to people where you can uh, have a good time and just walk to meet people and walk to everything. Really, I think uh, right around District 1 somewhere, the border of District 3. Because you would not have to own a motorbike there. Uh, you wouldn't have to own a car. Everything you could ever want. I was thinking about that. Everything you could ever want would, would be within walking distance. If for some reason you needed to go to District uh, 2 to go to maybe like, uh, you know, Mega Mart or whatever. I think they have everything around District 1, though. Really? Maybe, you know, video game consoles or something. I don't know. Uh, they have, you know, tools and clothes. Like, there's a huge market right there, uh, near District, a couple of them, really. <laughs> a few of them, maybe, near District, uh, near Walking Street. Um, so, and there's tons of hotels. Uh, Walking Street is, uh, you know, like the epicenter. That's where, that's where the buses all take you, wherever you come from. They go to Walking Street first, basically. Uh, it has a very international feel over there. So many people from, uh everywhere and most people do speak English uh, around District 1 and Walking Street area pretty much everybody you, you know will speak some English uh, look at that I think it's a dirty do that thing <laughs> uh, so you know and I only know about the south I like Ho Chi Minh City some people like uh, Hanoi. It's the temperatures are cooler up there and more uh, agreeable. Uh, but for me, I, I prefer Saigon. Now, as far as teaching goes, some people have uh, claimed, some Vietnamese people have claimed to me that in Hanoi they prefer like uh, you know British teachers and British accent and uh, British English. But here in Ho Chi Minh City, they may they may prefer uh, you know American accent. Uh, we do have a lot of British teaching materials here. Uh, that's just a minor annoyance for me. I, I can't really do the British accent at all. So. Mostly they don't ask me. Uh, I don't know what's down here. I think it's another highway. Let's check it out. Just end up turning around again. I'm just out uh, riding around and, and talking. But I guess, you know, for my money, I think District 1, if you want to live in District 2, uh, they have brand new apartments over in District 2. High-rise apartments, and there's a bunch of them, and they're going up fast, too. 
I can't keep track of them. That's how many there are, and they're going up real fast. And uh, I'm gonna go this way. This, oh, I know where I'm at, kind of. I haven't been down this way for a while. Uh, so there's a bunch of high-rise apartments. They're, they're real nice. They're very affordable. My buddy, I think he said 800 a month for a three-bedroom apartment. He's up top, and in these uh, big apartment complexes, they have everything uh, in the complex. They'll, they'll have pharmacies. They'll have gyms. They'll have schools. Uh, they'll have little shops and they'll have bars and baristas and, and a lot of stuff in the uh, they even guys you know it's pools on the roof and everything they got all that stuff uh, over in district two if you want to if you want to live a western lifestyle in a western style apartment it's a perfect place to be really uh, it's not terribly expensive I don't think uh, However, I just I really like uh, I really like Louis Bend because you can meet so many people, and that's really the fun of it. That's really the fun of uh, going over there. It's uh, you can always uh, have a beer with somebody. People are always on vacation and stuff, and you know when people are on vacation. They're they're pretty easy to talk to, and uh, they're friendly, and so it's just it's a good time. I always have a good time over there. I've met I've met lifelong friends over there on Louis Bend, so. At least people I consider to be friends. I may not be able to keep in touch with them all the time. You know, after they go their way and I go mine. But nevertheless, uh, the provinces are cool. I lived in the province before, you know. And if you want to live super cheap, obviously you can do that in the province. I rented a house for forty dollars a month. I was, you know, working for the school, but you can find deals, I guess, in the province. Uh, I did have snakes coming into my house sometimes toads and snakes and stuff like that it was uh, not that big of a deal the the, the ladies down there were uh, gorgeous super gorgeous I had a girlfriend down there who i i really miss uh yeah i shouldn't say that but she was gorgeous she was really beautiful and uh people were friendly real friendly in the province the mosquitoes were very bad um and mostly people don't speak english in the province um you're going to find that it's just going to kind of vary around Vietnam wherever you go some places they do some places they don't some people speak a little some people speak a lot but mostly uh, the older they are the less likely it is that they're going to speak English to you and the younger they are the more likely it is they can speak very good English uh, I met a young lady down in the province uh, her, she uh, lived at the hotel her mom ran the hotel that I stayed at and she could speak perfect English just like my daughters or something she was just speaking English just like she was she never was in the USA but somebody taught her very well and uh, the lady across the street who owned the uh, she helped me when I had my broken arm and I'm not really sure how she says her name but she her, her and her sister both uh, helped me a lot she could speak English well quite well um, her sister couldn't speak a word of English but her sister was a, a vet had been a former vet and when I had my stitches and stuff she helped me you know, she took out my stitches <laughs> I didn't know how to do it I was gonna rip my bones out <laughs> I'm not a doctor <laughs> nice truck <laughs> yeah it's uh I district one man if I if I ever get a chance I'm gonna go live over by Bowie Bend again because I love it I absolutely love that place it never sleeps it's always open for business. Always, every every day, all all around the clock, every day of the year. <laughs> and uh, I really like that. I really like that. The place never sleeps. And uh, I've never felt safe as far as uh, crime and stuff. You know, okay, okay. So crime, crime can happen anywhere, I suppose. You know, I mean, I've been watching. You know, I I, I catch the news on Facebook, just a little bit of you know what they post. Uh, I. Crimes can happen, but I've never felt unsafe here. The only time I had a problem was when, uh, you know, one time I took blood pressure medicine and I was on Bowie Vian. I was It was late at night, you know. There's all those people and stuff, and I got sick. I got real sick. Passed out there at the bar. Of course, if you pass out on Bowie Vian, you know, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to tell you to go home. They're not going to call an ambulance for you, right? They didn't know I was dying. <laughs> so I stumbled into the alley, and uh, when I got in there, I was disoriented. I collapsed, and... Uh, the lady come over and she got my phone you know I, I tried to fight her off but I was <laughs> I was lucky to be alive at that point uh, 
I stopped taking the medication. Everything was fine after that. Yeah, but uh, I, you know, that, that might happen. Somebody might snatch your phone if you ain't careful here in Asia. Obviously, that, that's anywhere. That's anywhere. You can't take your iPhone your anywhere. Um, but I've never been mugged. I've never had anybody come after me with a, you know, violent one. So, <laughs> not not since I've been in Asia, I haven't really had anybody come after me violently. Uh, no, not not really, not really. I can't say that I, anybody has. Uh, so it's it's. I I think it's pretty safe. I I feel pretty safe. I mean, I guess your results may vary. I've heard uh, young girls and stuff say otherwise. You know, they may have had some troubles, but I never have. I never even had any trouble like in you know Tijuana. I never had trouble. I admit the Mexicans did look at me funny, <laughs> but they were always nice to me. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Yeah, District 1, I think District 1, if you live over there, uh, anywhere near Bowie Vin, near, near Walking Street, you can't, you can't go wrong. You won't have to own a motorbike, and uh, you can walk to everything that you might need. Um, anyways, my name's Denny, and uh, thanks for watching my videos. Please like and share. You can email me at denny at vdenny.com, and I'll put it down below. And uh, I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day.